Hi guys, I just wanted to share with you a simple technique you can use when you want to automatically sync um, video from your PlayStation 4 that's been recorded with something like the Ava Media LGP Lite video capture card, um, a screencast from your laptop or your PC recorded with something like uh, OBS, and then external audio recorded on something like a Zoom H1, which I'm recording on this now. And then what you can do is you can take all those files and then you can automatically sync them in um, in Adobe's Premiere Pro. But we need to set up a few of the settings first. So ReCentral, which is the software that um, runs the LGP Lite from Ava Media. If you go into the advanced bit, you can go down here and you can say microphone. And what you do is you tick that. Um, the settings you may well want to turn down the capture device to all the way to minus five and have the microphone at 100 and then what you also need to make sure now this is probably on a standard but in the settings on OBS your version might be a bit different just look for the settings just make sure that the desktop audio device is uh, is turned on on your laptop now if you're using a desktop computer or a tower something like that it must have a microphone plugged into it doesn't matter the quality doesn't matter um, because we're not going to be using the audio from the uh, the laptop or the um, or the desktop or OBS or, or sorry or um, or the uh, recentral software that's not going to be the, the audio you hear in the final video the audio you hear in the final video will be the one from zoom h1 and, uh, but the reason why we're recording this audio, as you can see down here with it bouncing away, are uh, on the OBS and in the ReCentral, is that gives Premiere Pro a sync track to which it can then sync the main audio, which is the one we're using, uh, we're recording on our Zoom H1 external recorder, to pull it all together. So, all you do is you, you start off and you would, you know, start, um, can I save the changes just please? You, you would start recording on your LGP light. You would start recording. This is obviously already recording, so I'm doing the screencast on OBS. And then you would you would do your video. So you would do, refer to the stuff on your PlayStation 4 and re refer to the stuff on your desktop. Maybe you're talking about your amazing YouTube channel or something, something like that. And then when you finished, you know, you'd stop it all. Now I've got some files that are already here. And then what you do is you would then, with your audio file, what I like to do from um, from my Zoom H1, I will always, sometimes I'll run noise reduction, but I will always run the standard file through the levelator. And if you don't know about the levelator, just do a Google search, the levelator from the Conversation Network. It's a free downloadable uh, little program that looks at your audio file and bumps up the volumes and does a lot of uh, normalization on it, and it does it very well. So I'll do that first, and that, then I get a file. And then the three files I've got, so there's the Zoom H1 file, there's my OBS screen capture file, and that's the file from uh, the ReCentral software. All I do is I take all that, and I put it into Premiere Pro, so they're all there. Then all you do is you select them, so the audio and the two video files, right click on the uh, video file, and say uh, and whichever one you want to be the main one and then click on create multi-camera source sequence and then uh, normally the default stuff's all okay that you'll see on there but I mean you uh, maximize the screen if you want to see all the, the, the settings and what this is now doing Premiere Pro is now looking at those the two video files and the audio file and syncing them together and then replacing the audio on the video files with the good audio from the Zoom H1 this is a very powerful thing to do because it means you don't have to manually sync stuff up. So it's done it already. What it does is uh, it, it, normally it will, it will st stick the ones that you've done into a little bin, a little process bin. And then we've got this special file here which we can drag over onto our timeline. And this has got all three files in it. The audio is there. Let's replace that one. But in the video file, if we click over here on toggle multi-camera view, if we slide the head along when they both turn on you'll see we've got two uh, camera views now we've got the OBS one and then we've got the recentral one and all you do is you go through your video going right okay I want that bit up to that bit and then you click on that bit and then you press play again 
yeah, then that bit's going to be that bit for a while. And you can even do it live and then go, no, right, it's going to click back to the one. You're, you are, in effect, switching. Imagine you're in, like, your control centre uh, TV uh, studio. You're the one who's, who's you're just switching between the views. And then, uh, yeah, then it then it flicks back to that one. And then, then it flicks back to that one. Um, very simple, but very, very powerful. So there we go. So that's how you can sync video captured on something like the Ava Media LG P Lite external capture device and obviously with the software Recentral. Video captured with the OBS uh, software and audio captured from an external audio recorder like the Zoom H1. And then Premiere Pro will sync them all together using that create multi-camera source sequence. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful and I hope that maybe will save you a little bit of time in some of your video, video editing software. If you've got any questions about any of these things, or you've got questions about stuff that you'd like me to cover, please let me know. You can email me scalespeed.gmail.com or put them, put the questions or comments in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very, very much, and I will see you again soon.